today I've had the pleasure of visiting Point CNC in Seven Oaks and with uh, Joseph Goldsmith we're going to be seeing what or hearing about what impact OpenMind's Hypermill software has had on this company. Joe, firstly, could you just tell us a little bit about uh, Point CNC and your position here? Well, Point CNC has been established for a number of years now. Um, we have used to have a few sites dotted around in the local area and we decided to consolidate into one large area purely for ease for everyone else and get everything under one roof because we were expanding at such a rapid rate that we needed to be able to keep our eyes on everything at once. So we moved down to this site with three complete units to fit all 20 of our machines in, in one go. And, and it looks like you're full up already other than the space we've got here, We're, which I know you're going to fill soon anyway. Yeah, we've, uh, we've actually got another machine coming in in the next number of weeks with full automation. So our robots like behind me, we've got another one coming in. We've only had this one just under a year but it's made such a big impact to our productivity that we just think it's the way to go. Uh, what are you making? What, what industries? Uh, we've got a lot of different industries. We do a lot of uh, automotive, we do a lot of audio industry work. We've got a few MOD jobs on the go. So, so talk to me about the software side then, the Hypermill. You're an experienced guy in this. Before you came here, you'd used Hypermill. What difference has it, has it made with the introduction of it to this company recently? Well, when I first came here, we were using different software and I'd come from a Hypermill background and it was nowhere near as good as software that we had. And I put my case forward to the directors and said, look, really, at the rate you're growing and the speed at which you require work to be done, we need to use Hypermill. So being able to use things such as tool libraries to be able to teach all of our apprentices to all the feeds and speeds and easy work to help them build their confidence, really, to not have to watch them all the time, to be able to give them a good grounding and let them go, and then learn from there. It's been invaluable in that aspect. So where are the savings then? What, what has Hypermill done since it was introduced? Okay, it's easy for the operators to get to grips with, but is there any advantages to the tool library that you're talking about that maybe you can well, highlight? No, and the advantage to the tool library is it'll work out all your speeds and feeds. You can, it's only, I mean, it's only as good as the operator putting the information in, but once the information's there, it can work out all your speeds and feeds for you, how hard you can be cutting materials, it's speeded up a lot of our programs. We've not shaved a lot of time off of a lot of our existing programs purely by reprogramming them in Hypermill. So you could take a tool, you put in um, you know, the details of the tool supplied by the tool in supplier, yes. and then Hypermill will just crunch the numbers and, yeah, and, and push and, it to and, its limit. And push it to its limit and give you your maximum that you can get away with, basically. Do you ever look at it and go, wow, that's not going to work? Every that's... time. <laughs> Every but it, time. But it, does but it work. works. It does work without fail. I mean, one of the first times, one of the first jobs I pushed it, and it was probably about 20% faster than I'd like to have got away with. And it was cutting so fast, you see the steam pouring out of the machine off the chips. It's what these machines are designed to do, and Hypermill allows you to do that. So what about the tool wear, though, when you do that? Does it take, are, the, are these figures worked out at the same time as you know, being able to conserve the tool to its best ability? There's a lot of different factors. I mean, there's, it depends on the type of tooling, uh, what, what it's made out of, what materials you're cutting. It, it goes a long way to helping with things like that. I mean, ultimately, it's never going to replace the operator who knows better, but it certainly helps. So would, would a fair analysis be that you could, in some jobs, be making the parts 20% fast? So that's just production gains, maybe, but then also the ease of programming too? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I genuinely think so. Since, since coming here and get, moving back over to Hypermill, the speed at which I program the jobs here has sped up. It's because I've gone from software that doesn't do what I need it to do, especially 3D work. The software that I've, we were using previously here was just not up to, up to potential for what we needed. What about collisions? Do you ever have to worry about those if you're really trying to push the machine and the parts? Which, how do you avoid that? Well, it's, one of the beautiful things about Hypermill is when you're putting all your models together, you can build up libraries of all your work holding, your vices, your chucks, everything that's in your machine you can put in Hypermill, including the machine itself. So you can put all of this information in, which will give you an almost 100% accurate picture of what's going to happen before you push the button, allowing you to spot collisions or things you might have missed. And what about turning, Joe? We've been talking about milling. I know you are a user of the modules on that as well. Has it had the same impact on the company in that area? Basically, it's now allowing other people to program the turning here because before all the programming for turning was done on the consoles and it's very time consuming and obviously if you're on the consoles programming it the machine's not making us any money 
So now that we have Hypermill, we can actually program all the turning on Hypermill while the machines are still running. And then we can just come down, pop the program in, run it through, make sure it works, and we're good to go. Is software as important as hardware when it comes to investing? I believe so, yes, definitely.